Okay guys, so this is your recovery machine. And obviously I got my gauges, I got my scale out, and my recovery bottle. Uh, so what I like to do is, uh, if possible, if you have two straighter for removal tools, then I would pull them both, but on this one I just pulled the liquid line. Uh, so I took the straighter out of that, hooked up the low side over there. Uh, now I've got them into the gauges. I give them a quick purge to make sure there's no air in there. Uh, and then I go ahead and hook up my charging hose to the recovery machine. Okay, and then I hook up my discharge, hook that up to the recovery bottle. Right. So once you've got these two lines purged, you want to make sure that you're going to get the air out of these lines before you start recovering it into the bottle. So what I do is I just put it on vapor here, which allows flow through the recovery bottle, or the recovery pump, sorry. And now that it's gone through the recovery pump, I'm going, I bleed it out here just a little bit. And just make sure that you uh, bleed it out enough because you're considering that you have these two lengths of hose and these two lengths of hose. So you want to make sure you get all the air out of there. Um, and then after I've done that, I crack open my valve. Uh, as you can see, I have it on a scale so I can weigh in how much exactly is going in. I don't know if you guys can see that. So right now my recovery machine's off. Uh, I'm gonna start off the vapor, see how that goes. See if I can get any liquid out of it here. Uh, we'll keep it in liquid for a while. And uh, yeah, there she goes, she's recovering. Sometimes you can see the hose jiggling in a bit if there's uh, enough liquid in there. So this is a yellow jacket recovery machine. Uh, pretty great, we've had it for about five years. I haven't had any issues with it yet. Uh, yeah, the most important thing guys, make sure you uh, purge, purge those lines so you don't get any air in your bottle and contaminate your gas. Sometimes uh, we put a little filter dryer on here just to clean any contaminants out of it, but this system's pretty tight, so we're not gonna worry about it today. And yeah, so it should take probably about 20, 20 minutes. Pull it down, I think we got about 12 pounds of R22 in here, we're going to recover. Pump this up someone. Not a very complicated procedure, but when I first started, I uh, had to think about it a little bit. So Usually on these recovery pumps, you can tell uh, if they're having a hard time pumping or not, if they're making a lot of noise. So you can adjust the liquid to vapor ratio. Sometimes you have to put it kind of in the middle. Uh, you'll know. You'll, you'll be able to tell. So, uh, another thing is, Sometimes, because this thing does draw quite high of amperage, you're going to want a thicker gauge extension cord. Uh, otherwise, you might be popping the circuit breaker on this guy. Yeah, so right now we got about uh, one pound, 9.5 ounces. So it's going to take a while, but we should be getting about 12 pounds out of there. As you can see, guys, here I'm almost at uh, 12 pounds. I hooked it up to the liquid line, but actually that's the discharge line. Crank myself there. 